So awesome. Okay, so I we have some standings. <laughs> a leaderboard. And so, uh, yeah, let's find out. Let's find out who won this shindig, who took it home. In 12th place, let me just say a grand total. Um, in total, you guys have lost 389.1 pounds. 389.1 freaking pounds pounds that is cray cray that is crazy all right so in 12 shane when he started you're right bryce you're right we lost a shane when he started <laughs> good job knowing your mentor's weight that's that's awesome so in 12th place with a total of 17.6 pounds lost 8.6 percent tammy 12th place good job 11th place with a total of 33.4 pounds, 8.93%. Nakia in 10th place with a total of 22 pounds lost, 9.7%. Trisha in ninth place with a total of 17.5 pounds lost, 10.56%. Abby in eighth place, with a total of 19.9 pounds lost, 11.47%. Lori in seventh place with a total of 22.4 pounds lost, 11.48%. Wendy in sixth place with a total of 35.6 pounds lost, 13.12%. Share, and I gotta pause for a moment because share, those first couple of weeks, you started off at the very bottom. You started off between 11th and 12th place, those first one, two, three weeks. And so for you to go from last place to fight your way up to sixth place shows how you freaking just hit your stride. And like you moved up six places in the last eight or nine, 10 weeks of this competition. And so that is incredible. Thank um, you incredible i thought holy crap she's gonna lock down sixth place this week wowzers and look at all that momentum you're building coming into phase two which is incredible all right in fifth place with a total of 45 pounds lost 14.39 percent stewart in fourth place with 37.8 pounds 15.05 percent uh, Steve, think about that. 15%, 15% of your body is gone. That's like, an, that's gotta be at least an arm, an arm and maybe part of your shoulder gone in third, in third place with a total of 65.2 pounds lost 15.62% Bryce in third place. And I think we're just going to stop right there. <laughs> the girls are like, come on. In second place, with a total of 45.5 pounds lost, 18.38%, Krista Joy. Which means in first place, with a grand total of 46.8 pounds, 19.98%. In 12 weeks, Dana, first place. Yay! Congratulations, Dana. Congratulations, Woo! Dana. Woo! Good Way job, go, girl. girl. Good job. Awesome job, Congratulations. Dana. Congratulations. You. you work hard. Yes, I'm so happy for you. Blessings to you. Thank yeah. you. It's it's honestly, it's just like I said, it was, it's a simple formula when you get all the pieces. And actually, Tammy, I appreciated what you were saying about how Carmen does things different and teaches you how to visual visualize and create the vision that you're really going after. It's not just like, okay, I want to get to my goal of 175 or whatever. Cause I'm not joking. I think that was actually what I put down in my first application of like, what's my goal weight. I'm like 175, mm -hmm. I'm like 175. What the hell is that? <laughs> like that's chump change. Let's keep going. Cause that's not really where I want to be. That was just like the easy answer, the somewhat attainable answer, but this has literally been, and I know I said it, but it's literally been a life changing process. And my favorite part probably, um, because I, let's be real, it's been a little, little stressful on myself as well, because I put pressure on myself. That's my own issue that I'm working through, but it's been so awesome 
to be paired with people that I can come alongside them and help them and encourage them. That is what has been so freaking amazing. And honestly, I can't wait for phase two because some of you that have been getting some traction, I'm like, let's go. Let me see how I can help push you. Cause there's a couple of you, I could see you taking the first spot in the second phase. Like, and I'm like, hell yeah. So I'm really, really excited about that. And this has just been mind blowing, mind blowing. Congratulations, Dana. Thank you, Carmen. So, so proud of you. Thank and you. you have been, um, you know, there's definitely some surprise. There's always surprises and you never know when you start the seasons, who's really going to follow directions and who's not, who's going to have, um, you know, high numbers on their cheat boards and who's not, you never know. And so it has been such a pleasant surprise to see you start strong, finish strong, um, so beyond proud of you. Congratulations, all of you, 389.1 pounds, 389.1 pounds. And right now we are halfway through this journey because it's six <coughs> months that we signed up to be together. Six months that we signed up to be together. And so during those six months, obviously the first 12 weeks is the competition phase which we're just ending, but we're about to go into the second phase, which is the lifestyle phase, where we're gonna to continue to work on your vision. We're gonna start working on um, really making this your identity and really starting to embrace these principles, these tools. These aren't as no longer being Carmen's tools. No, these are gonna be Dana's tools, Krista Joy's tools, Bryce's tools, Stuart's tools, Trisha's tools, Cher's tools, Tammy's tools. These are going to be your tools because you treat your tools different than you treat somebody else's tools. When we take ownership over the tools, we like them better. We'll use them more. We're all biased to our own tools. And so it's really about going to be about starting to change your identity, to change, to really start to embrace who you're becoming, not on accident, but on purpose who you're becoming by design, not by default, because make no mistake, we are all evolving. You know, this whole thing of, oh, I'm not changing. I don't want to change. You know, sometimes people get offended by this change word. No, change, we, we're all changing. Unfortunately, most people in the past 12 weeks have changed by adding, you know, some, some fluff to their behind versus losing it. We are all changing. But when we start to choose how we're changing and we start to, change by design versus by default. When we actually start to, when you realize to get something you've never had, you must become somebody you've never been. And you start to let go of who you've been. Because what a lot of people do is they, they, they hold on to who they were. They still feel the need to defend the old fluffy person, to defend her or his habits, to defend her or his past failures to defend where we've been. And you'll never get to where you're going by defending who you were. You'll never, you can't become who you're destined to become by hanging on to who you've been. And it wasn't until I got to the place where, because you know, even when I started losing weight, there was a time where I still was shameful of who I had been. I was still shameful of the old habit shameful of the secret eating, shameful of the shoving myself into space, shameful of my wedding dress being a size 24, shameful of my size 22. And I had to let go and let it be. And yes, that's who I was before I could become who I am. And so this is one of the biggest deals. Why I encourage you guys to share. Because if you're not sharing, there's still a level of shame there. You still fully, you're still focused on who you were versus who you're becoming. If you're not willing to share the journey, you're still focused, you're still ashamed, you're still living on who you were. You're not fully in the moment of who you're becoming. Because who you're becoming doesn't care who knows who you've been. Who you're becoming knows that the person who you were is gonna inspire a whole bunch of people. The person you're becoming knows that your past doesn't define your, your future. And so during these next 12 weeks, you're gonna be pushed in a little bit different of a way. You're gonna be pushed in a way to start becoming, like actually becoming that person who's not only gonna hit your goal, but who's gonna stay there. 
someone who's gonna hit your goal. And this is gonna be your way, your new way of life. The way you live out the rest of your life. And so today, even though there was a winner crown, I want you to know that each and every one of you guys are winners. Actually, you're losers. <laughs> you are losers. You are big old losers. You losers. <laughs> And that's going to continue to move forward as we go into these next 12 weeks. Um, and the one thing I want all of you to realize is all of us, all of us have lives that are attached to us. All of us have influence over people. And we all have people that are watching us. People that are really wondering. Some people rooting for us to succeed. Some people rooting for us to fail. But at the end of the day, even the haters, even the haters who want to hate will eventually say, how? You've just got to keep going. Almost every single person that I love and care about has eventually come around and asked how and gotten started in some form, way, fashion. And so it's bigger than you. Yes, your weight, your goal is important, but it's bigger than that. It is bigger than that and some of you are just starting to see that some of you are just starting to see that this is just the start of something big and some and most of you don't even know what that is yet and that's okay i don't think there's any way for any of us to know and when we start this journey what's on the other side of us taking control but i'm so as your coach i'm proud of where you've come from i'm proud of what you accomplished but I'm even more excited. What we've done has been great, but I'm even more excited about what is to come. The next chapter, how we're gonna keep going, how we're gonna persist that excitement.